them. They controlling the market, but they're willing to do business with you so you can have your own market. What's the problem? Fuck you. How in the fuck you teaching hate and mad that they don't love you? I don't even want them to love me. Nigga, just respect me. Loved by a few, hated by many, respected by all. Even my enemies will tell you, yeah, I don't like what he be saying and doing. But that nigga bought his business. He know how to get to that bag. Yeah. Yeah, whoopty whoopty whoop. But if you go playing with that nigga, it ain't going to be no walk in the park, nigga. Something going to happen. You ain't got to love me. You ain't got to like me, nigga. You can hate my guts, but you're going to respect my gangster. That's what you're going to do. And my gangster taking care of my family, looking out for my homies around me that want to do right, and continue to do legal, legal business, and doing whatever I can do to break that cycle. That's my gangster. I ain't got nothing to do with shooting the dice, with beating a nigga up, gang banging, doing no fuck all that. Any nigga glorifying that shit, he's a bitch. Straight loser. If you do the research on him, his kids don't even know him. And his son probably named after him from the gang he from. Real loser type niggas. All these big old gangster niggas, let me tell you what I learned. And we're going to end it with this. These niggas, because I didn't have to bury half these niggas. How you gangster, triple OG, quadruple, wooty wooty woop, and niggas got to do a car wash for your funeral fees, bro? You even a bitch in your death. You left your mama and everybody over here the hardship of putting your punk ass in the ground. You wasn't even gangster enough, nigga. To make sure they ain't have to worry about that. We ain't going to get to taking care of your kids. Nigga, if you out there right now with no life insurance and you cripping in blood and you run around with Louie and Gucci with a motherfucking Benz or Escalade truck. And right now, if you die, your people got to do a GoFundMe or car wash to bury you. Use a bitch. 100. I don't give a fuck where you from, nigga. And I hope some of you niggas is on this floor because it don't cost them $100 a month to go get some motherfucking life insurance. Use a bitch and use a weirdo. But you can unbitch yourself by calling the nearest motherfucking state farm, okay, the nearest prime America, and getting you a simple life insurance policy. Right. Unbitch yourself. But right now, even if I love you, I say it out of love. You's a bitch, and I hope it hit your ass hard, hard enough for you to go Google a 1-800 number, number, number to your local uh, motherfucker. Matter of fact, 1-818-990-4044. Ask for Alex Sahiri. The man gave my wife a job 23 years ago. I still remember his phone number. 1-818-990-4044. Ask for Alex Sahiri. Tell him Cass Jones sent you and get you a fifty hundred dollar something life insurance policy that'll pay your people a hundred, two hundred thousand if you die. Unbitch yourself. But if you run around like that right now, use a bitch. I don't give a fuck who you is. Hey, why it sound like them niggas some bitches? They need to call the suicide hotline. I'm gonna drop that. I'm just saying, bro. On. No niggas wanna drop, talk I'm about what you're you gangster. How is you gangster? And when you die, your people stressing on how to bury you, and they already uh, a month behind on their light bill, bro. They got to go fund me. It just don't make sense. They need the suicide hotline. I, I don't respect it. They done. I don't respect it. You can call me what you want, but you ain't going to call me that. Whack, you's a bitch. Why am I a bitch? Because uh, uh, you, you do business with 6 9 That secures my family. What else? What you doing to secure your family? I'm outside doing what? I'm outside doing what? I'm outside. Look at me like you do. <laughs> Some of you niggas is outside because your auntie telling you you're fucking up my couch and you're going to get up out of here today. You got to be outside. Where else you going to go? To the park. It's in my house too nice. I got too much shit to be outside. Man, listen, man. 
I'm just saying, we're going to roll this traffic. Everybody need to wake up. Our women need help. Again, our fucking women need help. They ain't make these fucking kids by their goddamn self. Our women need help. Niggas is forcing our women to do what you men right do. About. And y'all wonder why our women is fucking with women. Nigga, they like, well, I might as well fuck with women that's like me. Ooh. At least we can come together, have some financial security, because all these niggas want to drive my car, run up my electric bill, playing video games, and motherfucking roll blunts with the fucking money I'm making, and leave me all fucked up. Our that's women need fuck. help, nigga. Our women need help raising these children. Men, stop being boys. You was born a male at the age of five, six years old. You got the title of being a boy when you knew what right from wrong is. Your transition from boyhood to manhood ain't based on the mustache, goatee, or the size of your dick. It's based on your fucking actions in this life, in this world, nigga. Your responsibility. If you ain't, if you 30 years old, sleeping in the same bed you slept in at 15, you was a little boy. Man up, nigga. Unbitch yourself. Man up. Unbitch yourself. Man the fuck up. Straight up. If your baby mama got to fight you, nigga, when it's time for school, club, school time, Got to fight you, nigga, to help keep, keep the fucking gas in the car that she used to take your child to football practice, fucking church and school. Nigga, use a little boy. Oh, nigga, I got tattoos, nigga. I got, nigga, I'm hanging around motherfucking Rick Ross. Nigga, whoop de whoop nigga. I'm swole. I can whoop your ass. Shut up, little boy. Use a little boy. Itty bitty ass little boy. <laughs> It's real shit. Real Send the shit. link to the next room. What, what, what room we rolling to? We rolling over That's there. Real shit, That's real shit, That's real shit. That's what we need to do a seminar. Why are you doing a seminar? We rolling, guys. We running. Click the link up top. Click the link up top. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Check, hey, hey, y'all, hey, y'all check this out. We can continue the conversation over there. Just, 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 let's just transfer the traffic over. Street runners. We rolling the street runners. We rolling the street runners. We out. Hey, I'm going to stay behind to shut it down. Everybody hit the link up top. Hold on. Lebo, you in here? I think Lebo off his hey, phone. You already know you getting dropped. Don't take it personal. Get a mess. You already know. I got you, throw it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Hit hey. the link up top. Get over the street runners. We're going to continue the conversation plus another topic. As soon as it gets down Yo, Brock, to 100, we're going to shut it down. Brock, you still here? Lebo, I think he went to uh, the other room. Yeah, he's over 